In the last video, I went in-depth into the problem with tower defense games. Today, I'm going to talk directly about TDS. In the comments section of the last video, many of you discussed tower defense games you thought were amazing. Many games met all the criteria I listed that a TD game must meet to be successful. But though most of you probably play TDS, none of you mentioned TDS as one of them. So why is it that when it's clear that most people think there are games better than TDS, TDS is still the most successful of them all? Why is TDS still alive? Before we talk about how TDS is still alive, let's go over all the reasons why it shouldn't be. This will be based on the reasons I mentioned in the last video and how TDS pushes it to an extreme. First things first, originality. Most people already know that TDS was originally heavily inspired by tower battles, but that isn't what I'm talking about. When people list a generic tower defense game, TDS is most likely one of them. One could argue this is because of how popular it is, but it's not just that. TDS is a generic tower defense game, but I do have to say that it is a good one. Behind the incredible graphics and animations of the game, it's no different than most of the entire tower defense genre. The main thing that annoys me about TDS's originality is how the three special modes have just revamped Fallen. They needed to add new updates to satisfy the player base, so they decided this would be the best way to get them out quickly. From the surface, this seems like a great idea. New content for endgame players and things for new players to aim for. However, each game mode has a problem associated with it. Pizza Party is quite easy, with it only being a slight buff from Fallen. They tried to counteract this with Lost Souls, but the mode always felt a little too hard for what the reward was. The new Badlands update just made it harder to obtain Cowboy for new players. The Quick Draw badge is definitely worth it for the skin and flexing, though. Polluted Wastelands is ultimately the worst of the three, being the hardest mode in the game with no reward for completions. I'm still waiting for Toxic Gunner to be obtainable from beating it. This is probably the most aggravating problem with TDS. In the first video, I mentioned how the easy mode of each game should be completable with the basic towers, but TDS takes it to another level. I'm not sure if they even tested normal mode, but if they did, someone must have realized that it was harder than molten mode. New players are going to join the game, get destroyed in normal mode, and maybe quit the game never realizing that they should have tried Molten. Another huge problem with TDS is its pay-to-win aspects. Whatever tower you spent so much effort grinding for can be bought by any other player for a price. Every single thing in the game that could take a lot of effort grinding for can be obtained easily. Most event towers that you had to be there to obtain will be on sale for an amount of Robux eventually. Most people agree that being able to buy event towers can be fair, since it isn't the player's fault. They weren't there for that event. Being able to buy level towers and engineer is a problem, though. Level towers take grinding to obtain, and seeing a level 10 with pursuit can nullify someone's achievement. This is especially true with engineer. The amount of grinding it takes to obtain engineer can be demolished with one overpriced click of a button. In my eyes, if a dev grinded from level zero to having every achievement and tower possible in the game, they would much more value the effort their players put into the game. And now the worst problem with TDS, replayability. Since TDS rarely updates with new content, all of the players get plenty of time to progress through the game. Sometimes the gap in content is so large that someone can go from having just started the game to being level 200 with Engineer between updates. Of course, even TDS players have too much of a life to do such a thing. This means that with each update, or at least each update that isn't just a stupid crate, players can quickly grind and obtain whatever they please. This means that people get bored of the game quite quickly. And now, how TDS is still alive. Everyone knows that TDS was mega popular when it first came out, easily averaging 20k active players. People loved playing the game and played it all the time. People progressed quite far, obtaining towers that took quite a bit of grinding, at least by their standards at the time. Because of this, they had a tie to the game. They had made a lot of progress in it, and the idea of switching to a different game and starting as a beginner once more 
disinterested them. Because of this, even though TDS went downhill from there, most people didn't start playing the other, better tower defense games because of all the progress they had in TDS. Kind of a stupid reason to not play other TD games, but I can relate to it. Anyway, this video took forever to edit and script, so please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Anyways, see you next time I upload, whenever that may be.